Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Show 16K edition. In this series we'll be taking a look exclusively at 16K games for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Tonight's game is Mission Impossible from Silversoft, released in 1983. The inlay claims a distress call has been received from some astro miners on Titan and you are sent to rescue them. As your mothership orbits above the planet, you have to drop down in your pod, avoiding meteors, enemy craft and force fields to get the stranded miners. As you can see straight away, this is a version of the arcade game Lunar Rescue. The mothership is at the top of the screen, there are four miners to rescue at the bottom, and lots of meteors. The controls are easy enough, Z and X for the left and right, and space to fire your booster. This is needed to slow your ship down, to get a soft landing, otherwise you'll crash. Right, let's have a go. The game drops you from a random starting point, which can be tricky, especially if it's near the edge of the screen. Using your booster you can navigate through the meteors and land safely. At this point one of the miners hops on board and you start the trip back. Now you have alien ships to contend with as well, but luckily the pod has a laser that is fired using the boost button. This isn't much use really, until we get the fourth miner, as we'll see shortly. For 1983 the graphics are nice and smooth. Usually early games have character based movement, but the author has done a nice job here. There's plenty of colour too, and the sound is good, although it does use the standard zap effect found in many early games. Control is responsive, which is essential in this game. As we collect the fourth miner, you'll see a force field appears halfway up the screen and you have to shoot this to get through it. This is very difficult to achieve. The trick is to line up your shots to make the hole large enough, keeping in mind you'll probably only get about four shots at it. If you manage to get through that, there's an impossible section. See? I'll just freeze that for a moment and have a look. You have to guide your ship down this screen. And yes, it does look impossible. Okay, I'll rerun the video. If you get past this, or in my case if you don't, you get onto the next level. Which looks pretty much the same until you start the ascent back to the mothership. And now there's another force field at the top of the screen. This also has to be shot. And again, this is also very difficult. In fact, I never got past this part. Despite this though, I like this game. It has that just one more go feeling. And for a 16k game, it certainly has a lot of playability. So it's worth checking out. We'll be back soon with another 16K game. Thanks for watching.